Hey, welcome to Fishtails with Tim. Today we are in beautiful, hot, balmy, humid Singapore, and we're about to check out one place that I can't wait to see. It's called River Safari. Let's go. Okay, the river safari is split up into different river zones across the world. Some of the biggest and most famous rivers in the world. And uh, all freshwater ones, of course, and ones that provide so much diversity and uh, provide life to so many animals, including ourselves. First river we're gonna check out is the Mississippi River, which runs through 10 states in the good old USA. Their eggs are toxic, they make you very, very sick. Look at that. He is looking green anything. They're also known as the Silver King as well. Look at those whiskers. Alright folks, we're now moving to the other side of the Atlantic Ocean right now and we're going to check out the second longest river in Africa and the deepest one in the world. Let's see what creatures live in the Congo. Can you trust that face? Oh, look at those big eyes. is one that runs through India for 2,500 kilometers, the River Ganges. Are you guys from the Ganges River too? No. It looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. Initially, this guy wouldn't give me the time of day, but then something caught his eye. Hello. How are you? Good. That's it. He likes the microphone. Please check in out here. Come on, fuzzy mic. Interest over, he was back to give me the cold shoulder again. Or the pink bum in this case. Just beyond the, the carp and those other big fishies. See the back a couple stingrays. Oh, if you look carefully now we can see the Chinese alligator. An animal that during winter buries itself under the ground and hibernates there for seven months of the year. Oh, 
They are as old as dinosaurs, essentially. And they actually uh, have these bony plates called scoots on them instead of scales like normal fish. Despite their name, red pandas are not closely related to giant pandas. In fact, they are more closely aligned with raccoons and skunks. Now in Mandarin, his name is Ho Hu, which means Firefox. Although red pandas are members of the family of carnivores, they are mostly vegetarian living almost entirely off bamboo leaves. Now this was cool. There are tree branches that link the two areas where the red pandas live. When they cross from one side to the other, they are only meters above your head. Say hello to Kai Kai. Born in 2007, he lists his hobbies as eating and sleeping. His favorite food is apples and he likes bamboo coladas and getting caught in the rain. The pandas have been at the zoo since 2012 and are on a 10 year loan from the Chinese government. Although they are both at mating age, so far they have not produced any little pandas. Personally, I think Kai Kai is more of a sit on the couch and eat snacks and watch the footy kind of guy than some kind of Casanova. Actually, the zoo grows an 8,000 square metre plantation of special bamboo just for these two pandas. Their names were selected from 1,000 entries received during a nationwide naming contest back in 2010. All right, a little bit excited. About to go on the Amazon River Quest. Ta-da! There's the one over there. Okay, pretty excited about this one here. The Amazon River Quest is included in your normal admission. It only costs an extra $5 for a go. So you can organize that online. Right, go. Definitely do this. Elevator, we are about to go up. Alright. Let's get ready. Here comes the Amazon River Quest. Yeehaw! Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah. Come over here, we got the collared. Pickled area or something? Oh, there you go. There's the monkey in there. He's up on the branch, moving around. Look at that. There's two of them. See him moving there. Greetings, explorers. Oh, just jumped. Welcome to the Amazon River Quest. All right, now looking for the bearded sake monkey. Does that mean he's drinking sake with a beard? I don't know. Let's have a look. Hmm. No, no bearded. Hipster Saki Monkey. Probably too busy hanging around in Fitzroy. He's supposed to be the white faced Saki Monkey here. Is he there? Uh, uh, well, the Saki Monkeys are off getting drunk somewhere. They're obviously not here today as we go into this cool tunnel. Oh, look at this dude here. The giant anteater. Whoa! That's the giant anteater. Look up for the What kind of gear? Guanaco. Looking up there. 
See them up there, going nice for us. Oh, this looks good. This means we're up for another dip on the river. Can we see the spider monkeys? Whoa! Whee! Whoa, and there's a spider monkey there. Another one there. From brunch to brunch. Wow, spider monkey. Oh, look here. These are Wow, check them out. Look at that funny nose. Wow. Watch out for Jaguars. Not like my grandfather, not like my father in law's car either, the real Jaguar. Explorers, are you ready? We're about to come back to face with the most clear predator of the animal. Oh, wow. Nisha, a young Jet. He was born in the Singapore Zoo in 2004. Wow. Shao likes to play with mud, especially when it's wet. His parents, Angel and Khan, are coming up next. Oh, the Jet boys. Some more Jaguars here. There you go. Look at that. How beautiful. Wow. The other ones at the back. Just chilling like a rolling villain. Wow. Look for black howler monkeys. After we go down the dip. Here we go. Whoa. Black howler monkeys there, anyone? Just the black howler monkeys. Pretty excited here on the left, we've got flamingos. Pretty flamingos. Wow, look at if that. If you turn to your left, you'll spot oh, pretty wow, flamingos. Wow, that's beautiful. The flamingos have to be acts as a sea. Hello, Filter ladies. Microscopic food in the water. It is this food that gives the flamingo its red plumage. Get over here to the Capilabro. Look at him, he's there having a swim. Trying to stay cool in Singapore. I can relate to that. Oh wow, he is the world's biggest rodent. Well, that was heaps of fun. Saw some cool stuff, but it just seemed like it was over way too soon. One of my favorite parts of the day, probably. Really cool, I love seeing those flamingos. And, um, those other creatures was pretty cool. Too. Oh, seeing the, the jaguars, that was really, really awesome. Um, yeah, too short, too short for me. I wanted to go along with <laughs> Now, this guy, he's a green anaconda, and they're found all over the Amazon basin. And they eat birds and insects and small mammals. What they do is they grab their prey and drag them under the water to drown them is they can strip them as well. Look at him go. Oh! This should be interesting. About to check out one of the last exhibits here at the River Safari. Not the last one, but one of the last ones. It's the Amazon Flooded Forest. Let's go check it out. And this is the world's biggest water. There's a second one, look at that. Wow, look at that. The giant otter is the largest member of the weasel family. Here we go. Oh, what is that? Like many of the animals in the zoo, it is listed as endangered, with estimates there are less than 5,000 of them left in the wild. The giant otter's highly sensitive whiskers allow the animal to track changes in water pressure and currents and help it find its prey. They have webbed feet with sharp claws, and get this, they can close their ears and nose while underwater. Now that would have come in real handy when I was trying to learn how to swim. This electric eel here, 
can generate enough electrical charge up to 600 volts, which would be enough to kill a child. Look how long that thing is. inside the Amazon flooded forest and what we're about to experience is this big massive fish tank with all the creatures from the Amazon River including some really big ones too we haven't seen anywhere else like dugongs and manatees. This looks spectacular. Manatees are sometimes called sea cows as they are slow plant eaters and peaceful like cows. In the wild, they can grow up to 4 meters long and weigh as much as 590 kilograms. Eva, the largest manatee at River Safari, weighs around 1200 kilograms. Crikey, that's rather big. Did you know that in Georgetown, Guyana in South America, they have West Indian manatees in their botanical garden? Pretty cool, huh? And between the 1950s and 1970s, that city's water treatment plant used manatees to help keep their storage canals weed free. Now that's one handy manatee. Hey folks, well, Thanks for joining me today on my trip to the River Safari here in Singapore. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I thought the place was bloody amazing, fantastic. Such an array of, of creatures of all different shapes and sizes. A lot of fish, sea creatures, alligators, crocodiles, that kind of thing. But the pandas blew my mind. That last display there in the Amazon flooded forest there with the manatee and the other incredible fish and those otters. Yeah, it was just absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Definitely check it out if you ever make it to Singapore. Hey, thanks for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Say that you liked it. And uh, even better, hit the subscribe button. That'd be totally choice. Okay, thanks for watching. And until next time, see you later.